Hello, and welcome back. This is the review of the 30 Days Lost in Space Kit. And hopefully you've been following my series where I've been running through every day of the kit. And I want to say right at the start here, this is a review of version two, because apparently the company is coming out with a version three of the Lost in Space Kit. And it's very likely that this new version will squash a lot of the complaints that I have in this video. So to cut to the chase, this is an absolutely well put together kit. Everything you need to learn electronics and to program the Arduino. It was definitely one of the pioneers of this uh, electronics kit phenomena, if not the very first one on the market. And while it's definitely not perfect, it is an absolutely great buy. As for the age, I'd say anywhere from the low teens to absolutely any age. Uh, I'm in a Facebook group for this kit and there's folks in there in their 80s that are having a lot of fun and learning how to play with electronics and program the Arduino. Sure, it's a tough learning curve for some, but there's a lot of resources online, plenty of blogs, articles, and of course the Facebook group I mentioned. So like all my videos, we'll start with the ratings in each category. And then I'll go on to some of the uh, complaints I had about this kit. And we'll talk through some of those. So build and components, I definitely give a full five out of five. Uh, the kit is well packaged in a hard, rugged plastic case. And inside, you'll find the Arduino, or the hero board as they call it. A uh, breadboard, lots of electronic components and sensors, and all the wiring you'll need to connect it all together. Uh, absolutely great job with the physical product. Instructions, I'll give a four. There's nothing in the box, but you go to the website and it walks you through every single one of the 30 days of this course. And those uh, days are represented by a video where the instructor walks you through the entire lesson. Uh, there's a clear wiring diagram, and then usually a program that accompanies that day's lesson. And on the subject of those lessons or experiments, I'll give it a 3.5. Most of them are easy to wire up, but some of them take a bit of experimentation to get working, and uh, some of the programming is a little hard to get around. Um, we'll come back to programming in a moment. They also lost a few opportunities to make it a little bit more exciting. For example, when they're showing you how to light up LEDs, and they could have done something a bit more creative with the OLED display. Uh, if you've seen the last in my series of videos, you'll understand what I mean by that. My biggest peeve here is that they spent five out of the 30 days on their creative days. Now this is where they encourage you to use the knowledge you've learned from the lessons and build your own projects and share them with other folks. And this is absolutely a great idea. You can learn a lot by talking to other people and sharing experiences, but did they have to spend five days doing that? One or two would have been good. Uh, we lost some days there where we could have been learning some fun electronics. Education, I give a three. While this is an absolutely fantastic introduction to the Arduino and electronics and programming, uh, they could have explained more of the science behind it. Uh, they did a good job in a few places, like when they explained resistance and they went through how the I to C communications bus works. Very well done. I wish they'd done more of that. But my biggest complaint was the programming. We'll get back to that in a moment. Value for money, definitely a five. Uh, the cost of $65 for this kit, I think the components alone are worth that. And that's before you even consider the uh, tutorials. Overall, I give it a four. They did a great job with this kit. And I know they're working on revising it and also working on other kits. So uh, let's, uh, let's follow their progress and see what comes out of it. I've got links in the description below or where you can buy the kit from, and the official site, and also the Facebook group that I mentioned. So now we come to what I didn't like about the product, and let's start with the nitpicking items. Uh, the videos are a little amateurly produced. The 
graphics looked like they were out of games from the 1980s. Now the presenter is the renowned Dr. Lysenga, I hope I got his name right, uh, from NASA JPL. And he's also a lecturer at Harvey Mudd, a very accomplished scientist. And I'm not faulting his contribution to this project at all. Now while I'm sure Dr. Lysenga is a very accomplished narrator and speaker, in the videos he came across as lacking a little bit of confidence, uh, umming and ahhing a lot, and he was clearly reading notes from off camera to one side. It didn't look like he had a full script. Now I'm not faulting him at all. Uh, it's likely that his crew uh, and the folks that put the video together didn't have a proper recording studio or a teleprompter. Now, as I said earlier, the company is working on a version three. They revamped this product and I think they're going to make it a lot more polished this time. And in fact, they've produced a teaser video of what it's going to look like. Link in the description below. Uh, let's take a look at that video. Astrid, do you read me? Come in. Astrid, come in. Do you read me? Wow, cool, huh? So they've opted to use a professional actor and videography to bring this entire project to life. And I really hope they carry that across to the entire course. It would be neat if they had a variety of actors narrating and playing parts in the videos for each day. But now it's time to get to the two biggest complaints I had about this whole 30 days course. And the first is a programming. Now, as a software engineer, maybe I'm a bit biased here, but I felt the programs were a little primitive, a little hastily thrown together. I imagine they're not easy to understand for laymen and were frankly quite confusing in many places. And I felt myself scratching my head going, why, why are they doing it this way? Um, I don't think they did the audience a good service there. I think it will confuse them and also, frankly, I think it's going to teach them some bad programming habits. The second item is the scenario itself. Uh, on the face of it, it's cool. You've crashed your spaceship on an alien world and it's sunk to the bottom of the ocean. And now you've got to try and get yourself back to base. Very cool. But the problem is that they didn't really bring this scenario into the lessons in a very credible way, leaving yourself wondering, well, what has this got to do with the scenario? Let me give you some examples. So earlier on in the course, you spend a day learning how to recharge your ship's batteries using a photoresistor, which is sensitive to light. But how much light is there at the bottom of an ocean? That doesn't seem very credible, does it? Later, there's a whole sequence about logging in, which begs the question, why? If you're the only person on this spaceship, why do you need to log in? What are you logging into? And during the course, you're receiving communications from rescue shuttle control. So how are you receiving those communications if you haven't even logged into your own spaceship? Now, these lessons are a good um, introduction to authentication and using the keypad to enter a password, it's all good learning, but it didn't really relate to the scenario in a credible way. Similarly, there's a lesson on decryption, but you need to do this by hand, which makes no sense. Aren't we learning programming here? I would have expected the communication from rescue shuttle control to be uh, encrypted. That's believable and then you would have to write a program to decrypt it. Um, it doesn't make any sense why you were doing that by hand. And also there's a sequence where you're using a series of tones put through the speaker included with the kit, which apparently allows you to communicate with your navigation computer. Hmm. If you've got a spaceship capable of going to different worlds, 
Why is your navigation computer only responding to tones like this is some old school telephone or something? Uh, hmm. Now, admittedly, the whole landing back at base sequence is very well choreographed uh, using the uh, rotary encoder to increase and decrease your landing. Uh, that's very well done. Uh, that applies to the scenario directly, and, and I wish there'd been more places where they've done this. I think they lost a lot of opportunity into making the scenario more integral to the course. So maybe I'm being a bit harsh here? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you think I've been mean? Have you used the kit? Uh, if so, how did you get on with it? Did you encounter some of the thoughts that I did when you were working through the lessons and how did you get on? And also, did my video series help you in any way? I, I'd love some feedback on that. So to sum it all up, I definitely do recommend this kit, despite my complaints, and uh, it's a great introduction to this hobby. And, and I'd love to hear what projects you've been building using your knowledge from the kit, and leave me some ideas and thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, if this is helpful, and if you like my video series, please uh, subscribe and comment. And um, that would really help if you could like the video. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your support of my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.